I've got something super excited for you today. Get ready to develop your Webflow skills because today we're going to explore five mind-blowing over button effect animation to implement in your website and bring him to a next level. We will break down each effect step by step, making it easy for you to implement in your next website. So let's go. Okay, so we're going to grab a div and name it button. We add inside a heading and we change the color to green. We copy the text, set up the padding, we select our button, give an overflow item and set the flex box center center. Now we select again our text and we set in relative position. We copy the text and add a new combo class called is absolute and we set in absolute position. Now we select our button and we're gonna create the animation just on desktop. We name our animation. We select the text with the class is relative and add a movement animation. We select our second text and add also a movement animation. We select the both and set as the initial state. I set the text in relative at 0%. I select the absolute and set at 100%, 150%. I duplicate my two elements and now I set my relative in minus 150. Now we select the second text and set to 0%. We set the duration and add an in out quart easing. Now we create the animation over out. So for that, we just duplicate the first animation, rename it delay the last part of the animation, we take off the initial state, change the duration and add the easing. Don't forget to set your button in relative position. And that's it. We grab a div block and we name it. We add green stroke. We set the padding to 6 rem. Add an heading inside. Name it. Change the color to green. Select my button and set the flexbox center center. I select my heading and copy the text. I set a relative position of 2. I grab another div block that I'm gonna call mask. I set to absolute position with a Z index of 4 and take full width, full height. Now I select again my button and give a relative position. Now back to my mask and set a green background and also set a flexbox center center. Inside we add a heading, we change the name and now we select our button and start an animation on the class button and just on desktop. We create a new animation select our mask and set a movement animation. We set to 100% on the x-axis. We duplicate and set to 0%. We set the duration, set the easing to in hard quart, and that's it. Now we select our first text and give a movement animation. We set an initial state to 0%. We duplicate and we set to minus 30% on the x-axis. Now we create the second animation over out. We duplicate the animation, change the name, delay the second step of the animation, take off the initial state and set the duration and the easing. And that's it. It's done. We grab a div block give a class button. We set the width and the height to 38 rem. Give a stroke of one pixel green with a radius of 50%. Set to flexbox center center and give a relative position. We add a green background. We grab an heading inside, name it, give a relative position and a Z index of three. We grab another div block called mask and set to absolute full width, full height with a Z index of two. 
we change the color to blue and give a radius of 50%. We select the wrapper, set to 100%, 100 VH. And we add an animation mouse move over element. On the class wrapper, just on desktop. We name it. We select our mask and give a movement animation on the X axis. At 0%, we set to minus 100 VW and at 100%, we set to 100 W. Now on the Y axis, at 0%, we set to minus 100 VH and at 100%, we set to 100 VH. We set the smoothing to 80%. Don't forget to set overflow ident to your button. And that's it, a new button is done. We grab a div block called circle. We set to 29 rem with 29 rem high. We give a stroke, green stroke, with a radius of 50%. We grab a heading called circle text. We set the color to green. We select our circle and set the flex box center center and change the text. We set our circle to relative position and our text to a relative position with a z-index of 3. We select our circle, grab inside a div, set to absolute position, full width, full height, with a green background and a radius of 50%. We name the class called mask and give a z-index of 2. We select our circle and give a mouse over animation. On the class circle, just on desktop. We name, the, uh, we name our animation, select the mask and create a scale animation with an initial state of 0 and a second state of 1. We set the duration to 0 0.8 and an in-out quart easing. Now we select our text and set a text color animation. As an initial state, green color with a duration of 0 0.8 and in out quart easing and a yellow color. Now we select our circle and wrap in a div block. We select our div block and call circle wrapper. We set a padding of 6 rim. Now we create an animation mouse move over element on the Klaus circle wrapper just on this top. I name it, select my circle and create a movement animation on the X axis minus 3 rem at 0% and 3 rem at 100%. Now another animation on the Y axis with minus 3 rem at 0% and 3 rem at 100%. Let's select again the circle and don't forget to create an out animation. So I duplicate the first animation, name it, delay the last steps, select the first step, take off the initial state, set the duration to 0.8, in out quart easing, I select again my circle wrapper and set the smoothing to 90%. And that's it. Beautiful button. We grab a div, give a class button. Set a green stroke. With a radius of 1 rem. We add a padding of 2.6 rem. We add our heading inside, give a class, button title, set to green, copy the text, fix the padding, and give a flex box center center, set to relative position with a heading index of 1. Overflow item. We select our text and set to relative position with a Z index of 3. 
we grab a div call button mask we set to absolute with an index of 2 full width full high we give a radius of 1 rem and a green background we select our button convert to link block and we add an animation mouse over just on desktop on the class button we create a new animation name it we select our mask and give a movement animation 100% on the Y indexed we duplicate and we set to 0% we set the easing to in out quart and the duration to 0 0.6 now we select our text and give it a text color animation we set the initial state to green, duplicate, and set the second state to 0.6 duration and in our quart easing, and with a yellow color. Now we create the out animation, we duplicate the first animation, name it, delay the last steps, select the first step and take off the initial state we set the duration to 0.6 in our quart easing for the both element and that's it thanks a lot for watch and if you like this kind of video let me know in comments and subscribe to the channel if it's not already done and see you on the next video. Ciao!